What's up, Mario from Roach Fab. Today's video is just gonna be a little um, CNC plasma job I've got in. Four plates with some uh, bolt holes in, therefore a stand for holding up like a Volkswagen camper van or something like that. So just four plates cut out 10 mil and I'm gonna go through the whole process of drawing the part and then cutting it. So yeah, should be a simple one. Famous last words. All right, so I just, um, I've just phoned him. What this is actually for is, uh, it's a plate that will bolt onto the hub of a Volkswagen camper van. And then it's, these are gonna be part of some like really tall trestles so that the van can be suspended uh, at like a nice working height off the ground from the hub faces and you'll, you can still have good access to everything to work on it rather than it being on a ramp. So what he said now is could I make the plates so that they will actually fit these PCDs as well. These are bolt holes which will bolt to the hubs. This is a Porsche 911 and this is a Beetle because he's uh, he restores Volkswagens and Porsches and stuff so he said it's it's worth just uh, making them so that everything will bolt to it. So it's got a little bit more complicated now, but we can make the five stud holes slotted. Um, this PCD 130, I think we're gonna have to increase the size of the plate a bit just to fit it all on. So that's what we're doing. All right, so I'm just gonna start with the PCD slots. With the five stud slots, we got we need to be able to go from 112 to 130. So I'm going to do 105 to 135. So there's a bit of wiggle room, and then we need five slots. So divide by five, divide five. So now this has divided it up so that there'll be like snap points so the uh, circles will snap to these divide points. Um, so then we need some 16 mil Holes, we need ten of them. Then we can delete everything in here. There we go. Five slots, so they'll fit those PCDs, no problem. Now we need a uh, four by 130 in there with that. So I think if we delete all this. And we need to divide that by four. So that actually I think will be fine. If they'll fit in. 16 mil on those holes. So that'll be our four by 130 there. A little bit close there, but I think it's gonna be fine because it's thick material. And we want a 67 mil hole in the centre. 
and then 230 by 130. I think it's going to have to be more like 150. No, it's going to have to be more like 170. Crown those edges off. So that's what I've got. I think that'll work. I'm just going to take a picture and uh, send it over to him and check. Had to uh, make that a bit smaller just so that I've got enough material to actually cut four of them. So what we do now, import the drawing into here. There we go. Now we just need to select the uh, thickness. 10 mil, okay, and then I need to put my starts probably about there. So then I'm going to post that. Alright, so I got all this loaded in, so now I'm going to do a dry run without it switched on just to uh, check it. Alright, done a dry run, all looks good, so uh, we're going to cut one. All right, so I'm not sure what happened here. It cut out twice. I have to check on the drawing again that there's nothing showing on those lines, but it didn't do that on the dry run, so. All right, that's the first one cut. I noticed the torch height was kept going up and down quite a lot. I didn't, I don't think I had my, uh, the torch height control set right. I'll adjust the uh, torch height control and uh, let's just see what we get. That one's much better. I adjusted the uh, torch height controller, which you're supposed to set it for every thickness of material you do. Do like test cuts and get a uh, setting for it. I just kind of guessed it based on what I had before. So I'm gonna make another little adjustment to it, but let's see, um, 
It's a nice cut for 10 mil. Right, so um, when I was talking about the torch height control, that's this thing, and it, it basically regulates uh, the height of the torch and allows it to sort of move up and down when it needs to. And what you're supposed to do is do a test cut, and then you will get a, sort of a value in here that will fluctuate a little bit, and you set your voltage to sort of somewhere in, in the middle of the top and bottom value of that. So on the first cut I just guessed it at 107 and uh, it was way off and you could see the torch was coming, coming up off the, off the uh, plate too, too high and um, the pieces when it was cutting weren't dropping through and then on that last bit it actually cut out, the torch cut out on this last cut here, I thought it might have reached the cycle limit or something, but it hadn't. On the last two, where I had the uh, control set right, I cut two plates in a row without stopping, pretty much, and I cut them fine. So I've got that now at a good setting for 10 mil, so I can record that setting, or you can actually uh, save the settings onto here, but. I haven't worked out how to do that yet. So there we go. One wheel mount plate trestle holder thing. So hopefully you can see uh, how simple and easy it is to use. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in getting yourself one, then, uh, then give them a ring. As for Rob, and uh, he will sort you out. But yeah, lots more projects coming up on this thing, so you should see some more videos on it shortly, but that's gonna be it for this one. Cheers for watching, see you on the next one.